we're talking about parents, understand that we're not blaming specifically your parents because you've got a grandparent and a great-grandparent on both sides, by the way, here. So you've got great-parent, great-grandparent, then you've got parent, great-parent, grandparent. So these are great-grandparents, then you've got the next generation, the next generation, the next generation, the next generation, and then you, right down here. Now, where did your parents' emotions come from? From their parents. And where did their parents' emotions come from? Their parents and their environment, what they had to deal with. And where did their emotions come from? Their parents and their emotions and their environment, what they had to deal with through their life. And what, more specifically, they didn't deal with through their life. So can you see how when we say it came from our parents, it does come directly through our parents through this chain. But often we're dealing with great grandparents and multi-trans, like I say, transgenerational emotions being transmitted down and down and down that are unresolved. So our own parents have transgenerational emotions inside of them that are unresolved because their parents didn't resolve them and so forth and so forth and so forth. And this all started from this issue of self-reliance. So as soon as we get away from God, basically we start damaging ourselves and our environment. And as soon as we start damaging ourselves and our environment, we have emotional injuries as a result, and those emotional injuries then get passed down and down and down and down through multiple generations. Now, what I'm suggesting is, if you focus on your own emotional injuries, understand where they came from, understand what the linkage is, what will happen is you'll heal your emotional injuries and the next generation won't have to do it. So it's your gift to the next generation. Right? Now, unfortunately, that hasn't been understood, understood very much. The multi-generational passing down of emotional injuries hasn't been un understood very much and so therefore we often ignore it. So when we say, look at your parents, look at, if I've got an issue with women, this is about my mother stuff. It's about, specifically, we could call it about my women stuff, but the problem with that is we actually then start looking at our women relationships right now, rather than seeing that it's actually a childhood emotion, so it had to have something to do with our, the women surrounding me when I was a child. Now, who's the woman most surrounding you when you're a child? It's your mother. Now, it can be other people, obviously teachers, it can be all sorts of other people, arts or whatever, but in the end, it's a woman emotion most probably associated with your mother. But her emotion came from emotions about men and, you know, and, so, and women and her, you know what I mean? It just keeps going back and back and back. The key is to not blame. The key is to now say, all right, this is about my relationship with mother. What that will do is help you connect emotionally as a child to that emotion. So if you can go that way, you'll find you'll keep connect quite easily to these childlike emotions that are defining you now as adults. But if you skip over it, which many of us do, we ignore it and say, oh no, our relationship with mum is fine or our relationship with dad is fine, they were nice people, I can't blame them. I'm not suggesting you blame them, I'm just suggesting you have to come to terms with the truth. That's all. Does that make sense? <coughs> all right.